Well, the days of paying late fines at the library are soon behind us, for King County libraries at least. Starting tomorrow, KCLS will stop charging late fines for library items that are overdue. They'll also clear all late fine accruals from patron accounts. Fox 13's Nikki Torres is live in Issaquah. Nikki, this seems like an odd move to get rid of these fees, so what's going on here? King County is not the first to get rid of late fines in libraries across the country. There are dozens of public library systems that have already done away with them. Locally, Seattle and Tacoma Public Library stopped charging people late fines years ago. But for KCLS, their executive director says it just does not make sense to fine anymore. We've all been there before. We borrowed a book from the library, held on to it a little too long, and now we have to pay that fee. It turns out those fees don't actually generate that much revenue, however. According to KCLS, post-COVID, fines made up less than 1% of its operating budget. That's one reason KCLS is saying farewell to fines. Just the work that went into the staff talking to the public, saying you owe us money. Um, there's also credit card fees that we'd have to pay when people pay for our credit cards. Executive Director Lisa Rosenblum says they recognize fines can also deter some people from utilizing the library library system, specifically people with lower income. Often those most impacted by fines are the least have the least ability to get to the library. KCLS currently charges 10 cents for each day your item is past due. A dime doesn't sound like a lot, but if someone were to check out five books and they're all overdue, that is 50 cents per day. Rosenblum says going fines free will allow people more access to information and opportunity. The fact is libraries are used more now than they ever were because people need a, a third place, a community gathering place. She adds while libraries have evolved with more digital options, libraries are still busy. She says more people are utilizing the conference and study rooms. We are a community gathering space. Even the youngest readers are getting more time with books and that's what they want to see. What we found post-COVID is that our youngest uh, lost reading level skills and they lost two years worth of reading level skills and so we want them back in the libraries away from screens with books with a children's library and teaching them and literacy also important to note that KCLS is just getting rid of late fines not the replacement fines so if you borrow something from the library and you lose it you are still going to be charged that replacement fee in Issaquah I'm Nikki Torres Fox 13 News well today governor